Today we're going to do a weaving project with a simple paper plate and some yarn. In Guatemala, they do beautiful weaving projects with their clothing and they make beautiful baskets. Handmade baskets are absolutely beautiful. Would you like to try to make one? Let's get started. We're going to start by printing off a pattern from my website, simpleandgrandlife.com. Once you print it off, cut out the pattern. It is best to do this with cardstock because it's sturdier, but for this project, I did use regular copy paper. Once your pattern is cut out, use a small piece of tape and tape it to the center of your paper plate. I feel it is best to use the thin, inexpensive paper plates. They are easier to work with later. Next, you will take a pencil and simply trace your pattern onto your paper plate. When you're all done, remove your pattern, and then you will grab your scissors for the next step. Carefully cut out your paper plate. As you do so, you will see that it becomes sort of a flower with petals. Once you are done cutting out your paper plate, fold in the petals into the center to kind of create a bowl-like shape. Choose a yarn you like, and then flip your plate over and tie the end of your yarn to one of the petals of your pattern. I use a square knot to securely fasten the yarn to get my weaving started. When you're done, just trim off the end. Flip your paper back over and start your weaving process. You will simply go over and under each petal all the way around your bowl. As you may have noticed, there's an odd number of petals on your paper plate. You need to have an odd number to make your weaving go properly. Continue weaving your yarn around the bowl, going in and out of the petals. As you get more yarn on each petal and work your way up the bowl, be sure to continue to push the yarn gently down so that there's no huge gaps between each row. This will make your bowl look very nice. Continue working your way up the bowl. The tighter you pull your yarn, the narrower your bowl will become. On my bowl, I was pulling it a bit too tight, making it too narrow, and therefore I had to trim the top part of the plate. I don't want it running into each other, or else it will make the top of my bowl look very distorted. Once I was done, I continued going. I am to the top of my bowl, or at least as far as I'd like to go, so I'll pull the yarn down and cut the end of it, just past the bottom of the bowl. Then you're going to take little bits of the yarn down one of the petals and feed your tail through behind them. This will hide it. Make sure the end of the yarn on top is coming between two petals. And you'll pull it out then you will grab a few more rows of yarn and feed it through those. And then your last few rows and feed the end all the way through to the bottom. Then simply take your scissors and trim it off. And there you have it, a beautiful but simple woven bowl. I love how the variegated yarn created the beautiful pattern on the outside and on the inside. What will you use yours for? 
You could use it to put some small toys in or some individually wrapped candies. Possibilities are endless. If you like this project and make one of your own, please send me a photo. You can like and share this video with others and visit us at simpleandgrandlife.com where we keep it simple but make it grand.